All right, everybody. Hope you guys are hungry and brought your appetites, because, uh, man, I'm hungry. Today, we're going to do something very quick, very easy, and something that I haven't tried yet. Uh, Velveeta Skillet's Ultimate Cheeseburger Mac. Today's a Wednesday, you know, just got off of work. I thought, hey, you know, let's, uh, let's try this out. Typically, we are hamburger helper people. Uh, Velveeta makes good stuff, and I'm, I'm excited about this. So the last episode we did, we cooked the Velveeta skillets chicken alfredo, and I tell you what, it was it was phenomenal. It was good. I mean, you know, for being a quick, you know, easy dinner, really good. Because we took what I did is a, we took a grilled chicken that I had grilled a you know the day before couple days before chopped it up put it in there and oh man it was melting your mouth good so today we're gonna we're gonna fry up some ground beef I got that laid out season it with a little bit of garlic salt and pepper and then uh, I'm gonna chop some onion up throw in there I'm an onion guy love onions in the last episode I kind of told you the story on what got me started on the onions uh, so, without further ado, let's let's get to cooking. So you guys are probably wondering, sitting there, either on your phone or at home, probably going, why, why, why is James, why is he, uh, why is he cooking on this when he's got this nice gas stove over here? <laughs> well, you know. I guess old habits just die hard, you know? I just, I don't know, I just, I like this. It's its a really big deep pan to, to fry in, and I just really like it. Get you guys in a little wider shot this time. So we got our one pound of hamburger meat. Bought this at the local meat market. Really good quality stuff. You know, sometimes you get meat at other stores. I won't mention names, but, uh, Sometimes you go to other stores and, you know, it says, it says lean, but sometimes it's, it's still got fat in it. And, so anyway, I'm going to go rinse this off. If you guys hear that noise, it's my ice maker, so. All right, it's, it's noisy. Okay, so let's get the get the fire going about I don't know, medium. Let's let's do medium. And hey, I I'm mean, I'm gonna shoot this disclaimer out every video that I do. I'm not a master chef. You know. I you know been learning as I go. And you know my my uh, ultimate ultimate goal is to is to kind of engage you guys, you know, is to uh, is to learn from each other, and uh, and hopefully one day maybe you know you guys can give me some suggestions, or even you know I would love to you know do recipes. You guys throw me a recipe out there. And uh, say, hey James, you know, why don't you why don't you make this, and then I can do that, video it, and we'll see what happens. You know, we'll see if I if I do good or if I uh, mess it up. And I like I like Lowry's garlic sauce, good stuff, very very good. My wife's family, they are big garlic salt people. You know, when I grew up. You know, we really didn't use a lot of garlic salt. Right? I, I just, I don't recall us using garlic salt, but once I got married, we started using garlic salt a lot. So, all right, I'm gonna cover that up a little bit, and uh, probably go ahead and chop up some onion. I don't know if you can see it. All right. A little bit of onion up here. 
And this, me and this this knife right here, we we just been we've been together for a while. Cuts really good. You can't even see it. Cuts really good. So I just I use it quite a bit. Let's do one more sliver there. Alright, now we can put the rest of it up. Alright, good. Then, chop it up. Oh, oh! You guys can't see it. Gotta work on my angle there. Yeah, I'm just kind of <laughs> uh, fumbling around like an idiot. Woo! All right, that's that's good enough for me. So now, now we get to throw that into the meat. I think it my god <laughs> that is a lot of onion now let's say yes it is <laughs> a lot of onion Put a little bit of put a little bit of pepper on that. So the is about medium. So I've got regular pepper here, and then I've got this brown peppercorn grinder. I'm gonna use it. We're gonna get fancy. We're gonna get fancy with the Velveeta skillet with the liquid gold. Works for me. Woo, you can smell that pepper. It smells good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cover it up for a little bit. Let it finish cooking that meat. And then we will go to the next step. We're waiting on that. Woo! Let's get a close up shot of this, shall we? All right. So that's that's what we're gonna make. Aren't you guys getting excited? I mean, this is this is exciting right here. I mean, <clears throat> yeah, I tell you what, you know, growing up with my dad, you know, back in the early '80s, you know, we uh, hamburger helper. Right? That's that's we ate a lot of hamburger hamburger helper, and it's it's good stuff. But man, I tell you what, so far with the Velveeta skillets, I've been very surprised. You know, which Velveeta hell, Velveeta is a a good brand. You know, well we we've made dip with it, cheese dip and stuff like that. One these hey, one of these days we'll have to make an episode on my cheese dip. It's it's pretty good stuff too. This is what you'll need. This is what they're saying: one pound of lean ground beef, two cups of water, uh, one pound of lean ground beef in a large skillet. Drain, return meat to the skillet. Add two cups of water, the pasta, the seasonings, stir, bring, bring to a boil, simmer for 10 to 12 minutes, or until most of the water is gone, stirring frequently, re remove from the heat, stir in the Velveeta cheese sauce, the liquid gold, well, and then you can customize it with chopped fresh tomatoes and shredded lettuce before serving. We have lettuce. Do not have tomato. I probably won't be doing that. We'll probably just be doing the basic Velveeta skillet. Look at that, perfect. I did not strain it because yeah, a little bit of grease. Hmm. Let me see if anything comes off of this. I mean, really, it's 
Yeah, it's, it's pretty lean. That is pretty lean stuff. That's what I'm talking about. When you go to a professional meat market, you know, it's family owned and operated. You know, a lot more care goes goes into the quality of the meat. We have gotta add two cups of water with our seasoning. Okay, here's what I was telling you guys last time. What I like to do, I like to get two cups of water. You know, this time I got a bigger bowl. Because last time I didn't, you know, and it was it was a catastrophe. It was it was very bad. Uh, <laughs> so we get we get two cups of uh, water, which I guess what I've got a two cup line here. So I'm gonna fill it up. I'm gonna go warm it up in the microwave for about a minute and a half. Get it nice and steaming, and then I'm gonna mix my mix my sauce in here. Why? Because I don't like lumps. Some people they they just pour it all in here and start it, you know. Which you know, hey, to, to each their own. But I, I don't like lumps, so I'm gonna stir the sauce in here. So I'm gonna warm that water up. All right, got my hot water. Now we're gonna open up this bad boy. Got the noodles. We've got the liquid gold. And we uh, got the sauce. Which I'm gonna get it all towards the bottom here and I'm gonna rip it. Throw it back in the box like that. Mm, mm, that smells good. Gotta get some other. Alright, so let's stir it up. Get all the. I'm gonna go ahead and start turning my fire up a little bit. And then uh, get those lumps out of there. Look at that. See those lumps? Look at that. I got a whisk in there, I don't know why I don't use it. I don't know why. I don't see any now. See any later? that, looks like a charm. Alright, now we'll go ahead and get our... Yeah, I didn't need no damn scissors that time. Man. Yeah. This opens right up. Look at there. Okay, we got, we'll put our noodles in there. Put our cheese sauce, or put our sauce, I should say. All right, let me put this in the soapy water over here. And yes, I, uh, I've always got soapy water made up. Kind of clean as I go. Alright, kind of mix that in a little there. Add the two cups of water, the pasta, the seasoning, stir, bring to a boil. Look at that, we're getting it boiled. Then we gotta reduce the heat and cover for about 10 to 12 minutes. Alright, let's get you guys a little bit better angle there. You know, I mean, it, it, this is a tough job. I'll tell you what, I mean, I gotta be my own camera guy and I gotta cook. I mean, my goodness. I, <laughs> I think we got, got it bowling. Alright. There we go. And I tell you what, I got, I got something else that's... My Uncle Gary. I gotta give a shout out to my Uncle Gary. He showed me this. Because I used to fumble around on my phone. Fumble around on my phone. Just to find the, find the clock. And he showed me this, where you could just do this. Set timer for 11 minutes. Okay, 11 minutes, starting. All right. Check that out. Isn't that cool? <laughs> yeah. yeah, for several years there, I was foaming around, trying to figure it out. Kept it down. Huh? Uh, yeah, I thought you guys could get a kick out of that one. All right, so while we're waiting on that to simmer, this is this is my ice maker, you know. 
uh, Frigidaire Ice Maker. Look at it. Watch here it goes. About to drop some ice. Check that out. And it takes a few minutes, then it'll scoop it up, throw it in the basket. Boom! Check that out. Isn't that cool? I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Probably not. But anyway, we don't have a water line hooked up in here to the refrigerator. So, we saw this at Walmart for about a hundred bucks. We bought it. Yeah, shake that water out. It'll drip a little bit. So yeah, look at that. There's the ice. Then I'll take it. Just like that. Pretty cool, huh? All right, let's get back to let's get back to this. All right, how's it working here? Let's see. I'm gonna take a sneak peek. Woo wee! It's steaming. We still got some water in there. So let's check our timer out. There's our timer. Got it going, huh? Then we'll be able to add our liquid gold. And then we are one step close to being done. We'll be able to try a bite of this. Mm. I'm hungry too. I've been waiting all day long to eat. It is time to add the liquid gold. Woo! Look at that. Uh, lost some, lost some moisture there. There we go. All right. So now I got my package here. Use my trusty scissors. Liquid gold. And you know what? You can't waste any of the gold. You know what? You can't throw away any of the gold. Gonna get it all out of there. All right, now we'll stir that up. I might put the heat up a notch just to get it to melt. Oh yeah. Oh man. This is looking like something to eat. Before I try to buy it, guys, I gotta show you something. <clears throat> this this is this is what I like to add to hamburger helper when I made hamburger helper. Is I like to add Tabasco sauce. Oh yeah, I mean, man, Tabasco sauce. I added on all kinds of stuff, all kinds of stuff. Uh, I'm not gonna put it on there now on all of this because my wife what she would kill me it it, it would not be good you know so I <laughs> I put this on my own whenever I get my own plate then I'll put this on top just just a side note I like Tabasco stuff so, but all right moment of truth you guys ready for this this is what we've been waiting for right here oh, oh man noodle just fell <laughs> noodle fell all right, jump, jump ship. All right, here we go. Mmm. Mmm-mmm. I like it. Got a good... Got a good... Kind of a tang to it, you know? Very, very good. All right. That was fun. I'm going to cover this up and I'm gonna end up transferring over to this and we're gonna have baked potatoes and maybe a salad and some vegetables with it all right guys I had a great time today you know cooking this you know it's a simple meal 
you know, fast, easy, but, you know, hey, I had fun, and I look forward to the next time.